Mr. James Cook, which is investigating the ocean floor three miles down below us. They've been deploying a robotic submarine to take a look down there, and the images it's produced are quite extraordinary. Of what are called hydrothermal vents, great chimneys rising from the seabed, belching out what looks like black smoke. In fact, it's extremely hot water. Well, the chief scientist on this expedition is Dr. John Copley from the National Oceanography Centre. What is the key thing that you've discovered so far on this expedition? We've been exploring the world's deepest undersea volcanic vents, rift in the seafloor of the Caribbean, where new crust of the Earth is being created. Our submarine's about to come back. It's got samples of the incredibly hot fluid gushing out of the seafloor here, influences the chemistry of the oceans. 400 degrees C when we collected it, and we're hoping also for some specimens of new species of deep sea creatures. It's an extraordinary landscape down there, rather eerie actually. What is significant scientifically about it? This is a, a world that's been hidden to us for all of human history, until now. Now we have the technology to explore the half of our world that's covered by water more than two miles deep. And for the first time, we're seeing what the face of our planet is really like, what that means for the geological forces that shape our world, the patterns of life in the ocean that we're all connected to. Now, when you sent the little robotic submarine down, you were expecting to find vents that you'd seen before, but instead you stumbled on an entirely new set, as I understand it. Completely by surprise, we stumbled on a new set of, of underwater vents. We thought we were seeing the ones we'd seen before, turns out we were actually in a different location, completely unexpected to us. This is commonplace as we explore the deep ocean. Every visit, we make new discoveries. It's often said that we know more about the surface of the Moon or even Mars than we do about the surface of the deep ocean. Is that actually the case? It is the case that we know more about the surface of other planets because our own world has got this watery veil. It actually blocks the kind of things we, we use to, to look at you know, the surface of planets from satellites. We can't do that in the deep ocean. The only way to understand the deep ocean is to get down there with a vehicle and actually see it close up. So this is genuine discovery. John Copley, thank you very much indeed. Well, the dives of the little submarine will continue. The basic message here is that the more they look, the more they find.